Hello, sports fans and football fans, and specifically XFL fans, like all five of you out there. Manny, bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! The XFL is coming. As you can tell by the title of my video, I'm going to talk about the XFL and uh, how it's on the way. You can see I'm a Defenders fan. And this is my throwback Defenders hat because this was the hat that I bought when the original XFL originally came out. And sadly, you know what? The first season of the XFL was 2020 and it was going well until covid Right now, we're cleaning the grease fryer. We don't have any French fries today. Okay, uh, then just give me a small order of fries, please. Look, Chief, maybe you didn't hear me. I said we don't have any fries today, so how about something else? And then, uh, and then that was it. So, <laughs> that was it, and it's taken three years for it to get back on track. So, but it's coming back, and, um... So is the USFL, but we'll talk about that in another video. Um, and in fact, I think I might actually like the XFL better. And one big, big difference between the XFL and the USFL is that, as, and as far as I know, that's going to be the case this year too with the XFL, is that all the teams play in their own home stadium. You like that? You like that? When they have their own home game. They don't all play in one stadium. And I think the USFL is thinking of doing that again, which is a stupid, stupid, stupid idea. Did I make it clear that that's stupid? So, yeah, I like that the XFL teams all play in their own stadiums. So we're going to take a quick look around the league at uh, the various teams. Now, there is eight teams, although you can see right here, they're only showing seven. I don't know why they're missing. I think they're missing the Vipers from this uh, uh, this collection of logos. And the Defenders have a new logo, but <coughs> we'll get to that. So anyway, um, let's take a look at the teams. I move myself a little bit over to the side here. The first uh, team we'll take a quick look at is the Arlington Renegade. And this is uh, this team, I guess, is in Arlington, Texas. And uh, the uh, coach is Bob Stoops. I think he used to coach Oklahoma. I want to say he was the coach of the Oklahoma Sooners. Um, and uh, let's see here. And then you could look at the roster. We're not going to look at the rosters today because I just want to make this kind of a quick video. Uh, you can also look at their con their combined schedule. But really, I mean, there's 10 games and there's uh, um, seven other teams. So you play every team, I would assume, once and then a couple of teams uh, extra. So there's Bob Stoops. There he is, head coach of the team. Uh, and they're going to play in the, uh, the old ballpark. Is that the old ballpark for Texas? All right, and I don't know if Texas even moved into something different than Globe Life, but this is the former um, Texas Ranger uh, ballpark. So now we're going to look at my team, the DC Defenders. And uh, their coach is Reggie Barlow. And um, they, uh, let's see. There he is. There's Reggie Barlow. And they will be playing in Audi Field in D.C., which I could go to. I could go to some games. Don't put it past me. But anyway, yeah. Um, and by the way, I want to mention that the opening week for the XFL is going to be Saturday, February 18th. But we'll see that when we get to the schedule. Uh, let's take a uh, look at the Houston Roughnecks. Now, the Houston, the Houston Roughnecks, and the DC Defenders 
we're in the old XFL. We're in the uh, 2020 XFL. I don't think the Arlington team was. But anyway, the Roughnecks were. Um, and their coach is Wade Phillips. It's nice to see an appearance from Wade Phillips again. And they will play in... Uh, Tedeku Stadium. I don't even know what that is, but uh, I uh, I assume it's in Houston somewhere or near Houston. Maybe it's the uh, you know what it might be the University. Yeah, it, maybe it's the University of Houston's uh, stadium. I don't know, but anyway, that's where there. That's uh, Houston. A quick look at Houston. Now you got the Orlando Guardians and. Uh, the Orlando Guardians will be coached by who? Terrell Buckley is going to be the coach of the Guardians. And they will be playing where? Camping World Stadium is owned and operated by the city of Orlando. Okay, I don't know who formerly or currently plays there, so... But that's where they're going to play. San Antonio Brahmas. The Brahmas. San Antonio. Uh, their head coach is Heinz Ward. Heinz Ward, formerly of, I believe, the Pittsburgh Steelers, will be their head coach. And, uh, yeah, there he is. And um, they will be playing. Where are they playing? The Alamo Dome. The I iconic Ellen Modo. Uh, we will take a look now at the San... No, wait, no. Sa wait, did we already do that? Orlando Gar San Antonio Brahmas. Yeah, we did them. Now we're going to look at the Seattle Sea Dragons. I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to stiff anybody here. So let's make sure we're looking at everybody. Jim Hazlitt is going to be the head coach of the... Um, Sea Dragons. I think he was a head coach at one time in the NFL. Maybe. I think he was. I don't remember what team. Put it in the comments if you know, if you remember. So they're going to play at First and in Goal Incorporated uh, Lumen Field Stadium. And I don't know what Lumen Field is. Maybe it's where the Seahawks play. It might be where the Seahawks play. It looks like it is. So, uh, you know, you would figure that that would be the case, right? Um, and then let's look at the... Uh, and now the Seattle Sea Dragons, I think, were in the league last time. The San Antonio Brahmas were not. The Orlando Guardians, they weren't. But there was a Guardians team. I think it was in New York. And now we're going to the St. Louis Battlehawks. And the St. Louis Battlehawks were in the first XFL. And I think they were one of the better teams. They, In fact, if the season had been completed, they might have won the first XFL championship. Um, and their coach is Anthony Becht. I've never heard of Anthony Becht in my life. And... Uh, they play in the iconic Gateway Arch. I'm assuming not in the arch, but anyway. And that leaves us to look at, take a look at the Vegas Vipers. And their coach will be Rod Woodson. Rod Woodson, I think, uh, also formerly of the Pittsburgh Steelers. So they're recruiting a lot of... They're heavily, maybe uh, also the Raiders, the Raiders and Steelers. That's sticking in my head. It might be, I don't know. Um, and where are they going to play? Cashman Field. And uh, it doesn't, I don't think Cashman Field is the Raiders uh, stadium. So they're probably playing in a different home stadium. So there's a quick look at the, uh, the teams and where they're going to play and who their head coaches are going to be. Uh, we'll take a look at the schedule now. 
And we're just going to, I'm just going to look at week one and then I'll fast forward to when the end of the season is. Another good thing that I like about the XFL over the USFL is the USFL is play. it will be playing like, it'll start almost like when the baseball season starts and it'll run through the beginning of the baseball season, which is not as ideal as the XFL because the XFL will start right after the Super Bowl, basically. And it will take that big chunk of time between the Super Bowl and uh, and the start of baseball. I used to have that problem. Well, what did you do about it? I just think about baseball. Where there is basically nothing for me except hockey, and uh, it'll you know kind of you know fill in the fill in the blanks. So anyway, this is week one, and week one um, is going to be. Um, the 18th and 19th of February. On Saturday the 18th, you'll have the Vipers at the Arlington Renegades, and you will have the Orlando Guardians taking on the Houston Roughnecks. And then on Sunday the 19th, you're going to have the Battle Hawks going to San Antonio and taking on the Brahmas, and the Seattle Sea Dragons are going to take on the DC Defenders. And that's week one. And now if we go all the way down the schedule, because this is the website, this is the XFL website. You can look up a team schedule or whatever you see that they will be done on May 13th. And see, that's what I'm saying is pretty good about the uh, XFL. It starts right after the Super Bowl, where really for me, the only thing going on is hockey. And it ends on May 13th, which is like right at the beginning of the baseball season. So that is another, that's another plus that the XFL has in my book over the USFL. And by the way, I did picks for the NFL this week, this past season and like the past four seasons. And I intend to do picks for the US, the XFL. Maybe the USFL too, we'll see, but definitely the XFL. So now let's look at the uh, rules. We'll take a quick look at the rules for the XFL. Um, extra points will be tiered. The tiered extra points are back. I don't think you have the option to kick a field goal or an extra point like through the uprights. Um, teams will, ha I, I'm not sure about that, but it sounds to me like, um, see, teams will have three run pass only options for extra points following a touchdown. So it sounds to me like you can't kick an extra point through the uprights. Two yard line is one point, five yard line is two points, 10 yard line is three points. And the defense is awarded the same number of points for a touchdown. Um, game timing, uh, the XFL will operate with a 35 second play clock, which begins following the previous play. The clock will start following incomplete passes and out of bounds plays prior to two minute warning of either half. Clock will stop following first downs after the two minute warning of either half. The first and second half will be split by a 10 minute halftime and three timeouts per team per half. Uh, kickoffs teams will begin five yards apart. Remember this from the uh, current version, or the uh, I mean the uh, the past the past version of the uh, of the XFL, where they started uh, five yards apart, and um, or yeah, five yards apart, and the kicking team opponents thirty-five yard line and return, and the return team at their own thirty. Options to keep the ball. Teams will have two options to keep the ball after scoring. Traditional onside kick anytime during the game or fourth and 15 conversion from their own 25-yard line. Fourth quarter only. And I think that was a rule that they had in the USFL or, or something similar to it. Uh, double forward pass. This is kind of cool. I like this. You can throw two forward passes if the first forward pass was from behind the line of scrimmage, which is kind of cool. Um, overtime consists of alternating attempts from the opponent's five-yard line, three attempts per team, two points 
per score or until the winner is decided. And then uh, there's instant replay, which really, who cares about that? So uh, that is just a quick look at, I think I touched on everything I wanted to get to. Let me see here. Um, yeah. So I touched on everything I wanted to get to. That's my discussion about the XFL. I'd be interested to see how many of you guys watching this are interested in the XFL or going to um, have a team like I have the Defenders. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me, though. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.